In this video, we'll see how to do additional practice problem number one from E10. So in this problem, you are told that the population proportion is 0.31. And you're looking at taking random samples of size 153 from this proportion. And you want to know the probability that a sample proportion is less than 0 0.33. So what this question is really asking is, what is the probability that an individual from the distribution of sample proportions of size 153 is less than 0 0.33? Okay, so we need to, instead of looking at this population, we need to look at its sampling distribution and then use the fact that the central limit theorem tells us that's a normal distribution and use the normal distribution to find that probability. All right, well, let's set up this distribution. The mean of this sampling distribution is the population proportion, 0.31. Okay, the same way if you have a distribution of sample means, the population mean is the same as the population mean is the same as the mean of the sampling distribution. Here, the population proportion is the same as the mean of the sampling distribution. So that's nice. We don't have to change that. Uh, but just as with the sample means, we do have to change the standard deviation. And it's not just taking something and dividing by square root of n, though that is involved. The formula is part of the critical thinking for this week, and it's the square root of p times q over n. And p and q are the uh, population proportion and its complement. So sometimes you'll see it written as square root of p times 1 minus p over n. Uh, so here's that population proportion. And uh, Q is just 1 minus that. So that's P times Q. And then we divide by the sample size, uh, whatever size sample we're using to create the sampling distribution. In this case, 153. So that'll get you the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of sample proportions. Now we have a mean and a standard deviation. And then you just need to look at what kind of probability you want. Let's take a look at the graph. Remember, we want to look at less than 0 0.33. So we'll get a graph of the sampling distribution. Let's put in our mean and our standard deviation. And we want to go to the left or below 0.33. So there's a picture of what we want to actually do, right? This is the distribution of sample proportions, and there is the individual proportion at 0.33, and the probability of selecting one at 0.33 or less is the shaded area. And you can see that probability is about 70%. You can also just calculate this using the norm dist function. So that's norm dist. And then you say where you want to draw the line, in this case, uh, 0 0.33. And then you give the mean and the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. And we use a 1 for cumulative. And of course, those are going to match up. And that's actually what they want is the four, digit, four decimal places, so 0 0.7036. All right, and that's it.